I'm behind on editing videos <laughs> and I've done a lot of work on the inside of the house but I'm not ready to edit that video yet because I'm still waiting for some more materials to come in so in the meantime watch Dilly go after a rock <laughs> in the meantime I picked up some cattle panels yesterday that was an excursion in itself <laughs> and uh, what I want to do is do at least one uh, trellis here because I have uh, I have some zucchini and squash and beans that are going to be growing up and they're going to need something to grow up on. So uh, you guys get to sit and watch me try to put these trellises up all by myself. This ought to be fun because it was hard enough to get them in the truck. Let me tell you about what happened in the truck to begin with. <clears throat> and if I wasn't so exasperated yesterday, <laughs> I would have uh, grabbed my camera because it was really comical. So we put the um, cattle panels in the back of the truck. And if you remember right, I used to have a uh, toolbox in the back of the truck. The toolbox that is now sitting way over there. <laughs> because when we put the uh, cattle panels in here, we put one end in right up next to the toolbox. The other end was back here, so it was this big loop that I was driving home with, which was fine. And I tied it um, off at the back here. And then on the front, instead of, because I couldn't get to these tie downs, so I tied it down to the toolbox. Well, apparently the idiot that had this truck before me didn't have clips in here holding the um, toolbox on he had screws and the force of the uh, cattle panels pulled the toolbox up out of the bed <laughs> thankfully it had stuff in it so it was weighted down but the toolbox was just bouncing uh, most of the way home so and I knew that if these cattle panels came out there was no way I was going to be able to get them back in the truck by myself and I'm on the highway and so anyhow I just drove really slow got it home and uh got it unloaded but yeah that was a lot of fun I wanted to get rid of that toolbox anyhow and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get it out of the truck so now it's out <laughs> all right so I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up over here and let's see if I can get these cattle panels put up. Uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> this ought to be this ought to be entertaining, if anything. If I can't do it by myself, I guess I'll have to call a friend and have them come help. So grab some popcorn. Let's see what happens here.
Hey there. So bad. So bad. Where's the jelly? Girl power. Okay, now I need some stings. Okay, I probably own six or seven hammers and I cannot find one anywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna improvise because I wanna get this done before the uh, rains come. So let's see if this will work. I'm 
Okay, now I need to go get the metal zip ties. I'll be right back. Okay, I can't remember who. I can't remember the name right off the top of my head, but one of my subscribers sent this to me from my wish list. And it is a zip tie gun with metal zip ties and no instructions. So, see if I can figure out how it works. This ought to be fun. Let's see. No directions. might have to go Google how to work this thing. Looks like it goes in. Here somehow. Let's see. No. Let me go Google this contraption because I don't know how it works. That's what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, I figured it out. Let's see, what else can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. All right. So, this part goes around all this. said than done. Come on. Okay, that wasn't so bad.
Okay, y'all. Uh, I didn't realize that my SD card was full, so it didn't video me putting these on, but let me show you how easy it is. This is gonna make putting up the garden fence so much easier for me. So you just put the metal tie wrap around, and then you slip it on there like that. Squeeze it till it's tight and you pull that lever and it's done. Um, I'm going to put one more down here. Ouch. Oh, that's where that other end went. Okay. So that easy, which of course I was elated about. <laughs> so I have arthritis in my hands and trying to even pull plastic tie wraps is hard for me. Hi Capone. doing so it was that easy I'm impressed so I've got two on most of them three on some of them but I don't think this is gonna go anywhere it may sway in the wind but that's about it so the whole I was putting off this project and now it's gonna storm so I need to hurry up and get it done so that they weren't just laying here in the, you know, on the ground uh, while it was storming. But um, the hardest part of that whole project, honestly, was getting them out of my truck, you know, by myself. So the rest of it was easy, which means as soon as I can afford it, I will go get two more of these because they're gonna go um, from this side to that side, uh, over that one. They are a bit wonky though. Let me see if I can't straighten it. Like it's leaning to one side. Or it's a bit more to one side. Oh well, it is what it is. It's a cheap truck. Blah, 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 blah. It's a cheap trellis. <laughs> I could always put a piece of wood across the center of it to help hold its shape, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> it's gonna do its purpose. So, and this thing is a lifesaver. So it's gonna make putting up my fence out here, which is the next big chore I need to do out here. Uh, it's going to make putting up my fence a whole lot easier to just be able to zip tie them on real quick. So that's awesome. All right. Let me get inside before this rain starts. Oh, I, oh, I got to grab my keys too. I left them out here. But before I do that, let me give you a walk around and show you what I've done. So I got some trees from Arbor Day Foundation. And... Three of them were dogwoods, white dogwoods. So I planted those out here. You can't even see them, it's just a twig. But someday, someday it'll be a tree. So I planted three of those in the front here. And then I got three redbud trees. These are a gift for, uh, you know, being a member of Arbor Day Foundation. So I planted the three red buds. I almost twisted an ankle. Okay, out here. So we got this one. We got one there. And we got one on the other side of the uh, rock haven there. 
Um, and then I got two hawthorns and two crab apple trees. Oop, my first raindrop. Um, and I haven't planted those yet because um, I want to plant them on the back side of the... Oh, it's really coming down now. I want to plant them on the back side. Gosh, I can't talk today. On the back side of the garden over there. <coughs> but they have to remove the trees first and I didn't want them to get crushed when they remove those down trees. So I'll just wait. And uh, for now they're in pots. But that's going to be it on the garden updates because it's raining now. So <laughs> this one's going to be short and sweet and hopefully the rest of my materials will come in very soon and I'll be able to show you what I did in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. I did not know what it would bring Now I'm capable of everything